Hello, this is just an overview video of how to export from RealFlow into Unity using Alembic uh, ABC files. So I created a basic animation of water, nothing that special, and then I added a particle mesh builder. So from here we had a circle emitter, we added gravity and a noise filter from the demons, and then mesh build mesh sequence. So that one particle mesh. I just did particle mesh there, but build the selected meshes from the company to the end of this built anyway. Whatever. Um then export I think it's export all and um Export central, you let you can see what it's, it's defaulting to ABC sequence. So that's great. That will push it out. Um, and, and then we need to go once we've rendered it. Um, I think I just hit simulate to render it actually. Anyway. Um, once we've done that, we need to go to tools and then stitch the mesh and it stitches the Olympic files together into one solid file that can be recognized by Blender or in my case, Unity. So we stitch that into a massive file, a two gigabyte file, which I've really got to figure out how to optimize this. Right. So in Unity, I've used the standard render. Um, pipeline and added a and then the what, free water shader just to get going and um, it's fine uh, it's a very simple mesh very simple thing but it's just the principle this is a, a workflow test so it all works we have to create a timeline by opening up the timeline window window Wherever timeline is. Sequencing timeline. That allowed us to add a Olympic track and then stick in the mesh and the mesh we have to assets import new asset and we import the stitch together file. Now one of the problems I had was that the assets important as that was grayed out and that was because in project view I was in package manager. The other thing before I forget is that in package manager we had to type in a limbic. Uh, we got two extra things water shades is free water shades and foam textures again I'll show that later but we also needed uh, in unity registry to type in a limbic and then install that, which is very cool. And that allows us to import asset ABC file. So, right, um, that was the, the overview. I'll probably go into detail in another video uh, after I've had a little lie down. So in the asset store, new, uh, 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 okay. I was looking at Megacache which does it for object, that object for zero GPUs, but yeah, it's been used massive amounts of um, hard disk space. It's not necessarily a problem, but it can be, especially if you're optimizing that I am trying to for alt space or any other engine. Right, the, the free textures will be foam textures and the big one, which is not going to give to me, even though I've specifically try to get you to yeah there water there we go so search for water in the asset store choose free assets and the specific ones although i've downloaded a load of extra ones uh because of the, the specific ones i'm interested in are foam it's, it's so clunky this 96 Maybe that's a bit easier. Oh, why do I need this? I don't need this. Go away. 
Where would have this pop up? Right, where are we? Uh, it's bad enough trying to concentrate as it is without extra pop ups. Really irritating. Um, so, where were we? Uh, MV water shaders. I'm using the standard or the uh, built in the pipeline just to get going. I need to convert it to URP, but I've got to do a lot of URP stuff. And then there should be a foam as well. Uh, foam textures and MV job. I'll put these links uh, with the video so we can find them again. And they're decent, it's decent enough, although I did find some of this animated water conflicted with the uh, with the animation. We might be using something similar in their rendering. So we go back to go back to here. So we've imported the limbic, we imported foam textures, and we imported MV job thingy. Now to get the skybox, a decent skybox, uh I went to well to where I went. So to get this lighting tab, you go to Windows Lighting, Windows Rendering, Lighting. Drag it over here. So I created a sky box uh, from the cube map. They provide a cube map with all this stuff. So to create a sky box, I went to New, Create New Material, wherever you are, Material and. Uh, call it Skybox 2, Skybox 2, and then click on it, make sure the inspector's on, we'll change it to Skybox, Cube Map, then we drag the supplied Cube Map into there, and then we drag a Skybox into the Skybox material and get a nice Skybox without that grey stuff getting in the way. Now for the material of the mesh, uh, I used Inspector. I created my own water texture using the MV job shader, and then I added a albedo texture just to add a little bit of something to it. It's still, I'm still not nowhere near happy enough with this water, but uh, it's it's just to get going, and then I will refine what water textures to use, etc. The NVX, the MV job free water shades comes with some beautiful scenes. Let's see if we can bring up some of these scenes. Like sparkles. So let's maximize that on play just. So it's worth getting just for this, I reckon. Very cool, very cool indeed. But that's not what we're here for. We are here, although it's an extra, extra bonus, really. File, open, scene. Right. I know mine's not nearly as attractive as what they're doing, but it will get there. Trust me. Trust me. So we needed to create a timeline. To create a timeline, we went to Windows, sequencing timeline, brought up the window. We created an empty object, called it timeline, and then in the we created a timeline, and in that timeline we dragged uh, water one, and then I edited the water one and duplicated a bunch of times. I couldn't get the uh, the looping to work over here, and then in the mesh, in the mesh shape. We had, I added the water animator, animation, uh, sorry, the water material. Yeah, still not totally happy with that, to be honest. I, uh, oh, when I changed the opacity, maybe if I get really dark, I change. Is this the right? There is opacity. Okay. All right. Try that, maybe get pen.
doesn't really it's not really reflecting is it again i'm going to spend you spend hours trying to get water to work properly or you know, water and glass i don't think oh i see that see thing and then there you've certainly got reflection as far as i can see reflection enable let's try that And the phone one is a bit better, still not great. And then uh, uh, we've got some phone enable. Let's see if we can do oh, yeah, some back phone. Let's see what it does. Not a great deal. And so we select that as your that phone. See what that does. It's not quite right. It needs a bit of work, a lot of work. Anyway, uh so getting distracted trying to get water to work. So we created a timeline, we added in that timeline we dragged in the water thing which comes the water thing comes with its own built-in animator and everything so that's very cool and the mesh all built together in the abc thing the only problem being the massive massive file size i don't know how If we go into Explorer and then two gig, two point five gig, it's just far, far too big. So somehow we've got to try and um, reduce that size. Anyway, uh, so just to go back again over what I did and to uh, give credit to How to Water Limp Put into UT by Louis Miguel. Show him some love. And Brackies, I don't know what he's up to now, but just getting used to timeline. So those were two very useful videos. And then water shaders, uh, foam textures. And I don't think we need um, mega cache at some point i might try it but i was really eyeing it out but i think things moved on to abc alembic caching for that let me see it's microsoft metaverse versus facebook metaverse that's interesting um right uh so i think that's it really what have i forgotten probably something um Yeah, I hope it's of use.